Center from the Chicago International Auto Show. I'm Maggie Clark, Motor City Maggie, and I'm going to give you a very special treat today. I'm going to give you a live walkthrough of the Chicago Auto Show, and I'm so excited because the show is actually not open yet. So if you're watching this live stream, and if you're watching it right now, you're probably watching a replay, you're getting a special sneak peek at the show. So why don't we dive into it? Let me flip my camera around and we're gonna start over here at the Toyota display. And then we're gonna head on over to Nissan and Stellantis, circle back to Ford and keep on going. Hi there, thanks so much for joining me. Okay, first of all, we have our beautiful Toyota Grand Highlander. This was the worldwide debut Hi, Simon. Thanks so much for joining me. This is the worldwide debut of the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. It's an extended wheelbase from the regular Toyota Highlander, which you can see on the right side. And then we have the Grand Highlander here. Really, really nice styling on that Grand Highlander. And there's three different engine options, a gas model, a hybrid, and then a really powerful hybrid Max, oh my gosh, hi there. Oh, so many of you are joining, thanks so much. Thanks for giving me those thumbs up too. So I'm gonna have to walk through quite quickly through all of these displays because it's a huge auto show. So really quickly, let me show you right here. We've got the GR Corolla. It's exciting to have that here. The last couple auto shows I've been at, there hasn't been any GR Corollas because they're hard to get your hands on. We have the Toyota Crown really sharp, really attractive. There are some nice SEMA vehicles on display. That's the TRD Camry looking really good. Corolla Cross, Corolla Hatch. There's that Highlander. Here's another view of that Grand Highlander. Toes up to 5,000 pounds like the regular Highlander. Over here, we have the racing area of the Toyota display. We've got a very cool GR Corolla on display. I can't believe they actually have two of these. If you're not familiar with this vehicle, it's an all wheel drive manual only vehicle. And over here we have the Supra and the See You Later gray color, which I absolutely adore. It is gorgeous. Look at that iridescence on the paint. I love that, very cool. And we are seeing to forerunners. I'm ready for the forerunner to be remodeled. I don't know about you guys. What do you think in the comments? And this is the 40th anniversary forerunner. I love that stripe. Makes it a little more unique. The Team Toyota RAV4. Of course, there's a lot of RAV4s on display. If you come to the auto show, you can actually sign up at the Passport Challenge and you can enter for a chance to win a Toyota Crown. There's a Cubbies RAV4 Hybrid, a RAV4 Prime. Okay, this is cool. Here's another Grand Highlander, and it is a partnership with Nintendo Switch. So if you come to the auto show, you can actually play the new Mario Kart game because the first 500 owners of the Grand Highlander will receive the new OLED Nintendo Switch. That is so cool. So this is a fun promotion for them. And in the back here, you can see it has a Toyota Sports Festival. That's where, if you come to the auto show, you can compete in a lot of really fun Olympic games and Paralympic games. And it's a really fun activation because Toyota is a sponsor of the Olympics and the Olympic uh, Paralympics. So they have things like skateboarding. They're going to have professional skateboarders, biking, curling, hockey, basketball. It's really cool. And here's some futuristic vehicles. We have some battery electric vehicles. The Toyota LQ, which is a battery electric vehicle with artificial intelligence. Ooh la la. And over here is the iRoad. I've actually driven the iRoad several times. It's so much fun to drive. Oh my gosh. It leans into turns. It's really fun. And it's three wheels. That's still, I think, a prototype uh, but they are testing it in some markets. We've got Jan on display. What's up, Jan? Hi, John Baker. Thanks for commenting and joining. 
Oh my gosh, it is a massive display. So at this big stage, there will be special guests and the Toyota live stage and game show. Here's our Prius. Okay, what do you think of the Prius redesign? It looks so good, right? If you're into the Prius design, make sure you check out my Prius and Prius Prime full walk around videos on my YouTube. I did full reviews on both those vehicles. Also back to the Grand Highlander, I just released my Grand Highlander full walk around that I filmed yesterday. And I stayed up super late to make sure that I edited it and got it out for all of you because I was so excited to release that video. We've got Camry on display over there, best-selling car in America. And we've got some Siennas. I'm into that green color, it looks good, huh? And it looks like they have some more activations in the back and some really nice signage. I like their electrified messaging. There are now I think 15 electrified vehicles uh, that Toyota is manufacturing in the United States or selling in the United States, I should say. Here's the chassis for the Tundra. I mean, how cool is that? Ooh, so awesome. I haven't gone to Ford yet. I think I'm going to circle back around to them after I head on over to Nissan and Stellantis. So stay tuned. And oh yeah, and check this out. There is a whole NASCAR zone over here at Toyota. We've got the Supra the Camry, and then this is a special pace car for the new Chicago Street Race weekend. And it's got a very cool Van Gogh art design. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so that was just unveiled here at the Chicago Auto Show yesterday. And then there is the basketball court. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's so much to see at this auto show. So stick with me. Let me know if there are particular vehicles you want me to show off in the comments and I'll do my best to get over there. And over here, there are so many ride and drives inside of the McCormick Center. So Toyota is doing a four seasons test track with their vehicles. So you kind of go through different seasons and different driving scenarios to show off the handling of the vehicles. I see a sign for ice fishing. I think there's a moose over there. So all kinds of stuff like that. And then here we've got a Sequoia TRD Pro. Oh, doesn't that look so good? I really like that color. Yeah, very cool. And here is the Capstone Sequoia. So this is the top of the line Sequoia. So that was Toyota. Just the highlights because I'm going to keep this train going. So Ford, I promise you I will come back there in a few minutes. I just want to give them my full attention because, you know, I'm Motor City Maggie. I'm from Detroit. I'm from the D. And I do love Fords. All right. Excuse me, gentlemen. People are adjusting this truck over here at Ford. Look at that. Looks like they're gonna move it out. Okay, let's check out Nissan. They were making it snow here the other day, which is cool. Got any Nissan fans out there? Here's the Aria. Oh, they're moving out this, uh, wow, this F-150 Tremor. Here's an auto show exclusive moment for you. I wonder where they're taking it. They must've just had this here for press purposes. So I'm gonna stay out of the way. Okay. Here's the Nissan Rogue. I like the Aria. I'm not a huge fan of this color. It's kind of like a rose gold. I don't love that color, but I do like the vehicle. I do like electric vehicles. I like the electrification, but you know, I like all types of cars. So here's the back of the Nissan Z. I like this light bar installation that they did. And they've got another one. And yeah, I don't know. It's uh, pretty empty over here, but I'm here after the press day has technically ended. So that's why there's no one here. So if I abruptly get asked to leave, you'll all know why. So cross your fingers that I get to stay because this is pretty cool. Not having to dodge people and giving you all a really nice unobstructed view of the show. Oh, here's where it was snowing. Let's go check it out. 
Yeah, Nissan has a big uh, footprint over here. Look at that. The E-Force all-wheel drive Aria. Smooth driving in any season. 100% electric. That's fun. Hopefully they're able to keep the snow in that display because I can see it getting stuck to everybody's clothes and all over the carpet. <laughs> that uh, happens sometimes. All right, now let's head on over to Stellantis. I'm going to start on one end and make my way to the other. I'm so excited you're all here with me. Thank you for joining. Also, if the quality uh, gets worse at any point, I'm so sorry. I'm just relying on Verizon LTE. So hopefully it hangs in there with me. Love the light bar here. That looks really good. Wow. Chrysler Synthesis. Nice. Really sharp headlight design. It's called the Airflow Concept. 400 mile driving range, all electric. What do you think? That's nice. I haven't uh, gotten a chance to make it over here. So I think it looks pretty good. Look at that pass through. Oh, such a good place to put a purse or a laptop bag. And it's all screens in there. Wow. Really nice. Technology solves all Beautiful. The okay, the Pacifica, always a uh, popular minivan. This is the Road Tripper, America's first and only plug-in hybrid minivan. I like the Pacifica. I think it's a good option for people who want an all-electric range and then also have the option of putting gas in their vehicle. Here's the Chrysler 300C. It's the last year of this vehicle. I did a reel on this or a short, if you wanna check it out. Yeah, I agree. I think that airflow is really gorgeous. I would really like to see it come to fruition. And here is the Ram TRX. Look at this color, oh my gosh. Can you imagine? I feel like it's a little loud. Everyone would see you coming, <laughs> but uh, hey, why not? Why not? I like those wheels. Oops, sorry. Look at those wheels. Nice. All right. Okay, so Ram has a huge, huge driving experience. They're having a uh, meeting over there, so we won't disturb them. But look, they're going to be able to drive over this big hill and show you how capable their trucks are. Really nice indoor drive experience. I think this is really cool when they put trucks up high like this. Just seems like a lot of effort. Okay. Wow. Okay. They've got a great selection of Rams here. If you want to come to the Chicago Auto Show or if you just want to check them out. Okay. This is what I was excited to see. Here we go. The all electric Ram. So I think they're calling it the Rev REV, like Ram electric vehicle. And look at the interior. It's so open. It looks like luxury futuristic seating inside of a truck. That's really cool. I kind of like this bronze seatbelt look and the steering wheel is really interesting. I'm into this guys. I might have to come back and do a, a short on this because I really like the design. 2023 Ram Revolution concept. Wow. Look at those wheels. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the fact that the Ram is lit up like that on the back. Oh, I love it. Love that. I hope they're able to actually manufacture it that way. REV. Ram REV. Oh, and it looks like they're moving it. Maybe they're going to take it out or they're changing it up for public days. We'll see. Okay. Oh, and here is the Jeep drive experience. Now the Jeep drive experience, look at this mountain. I mean, they're going up and over this giant mountain. And when you get to, you know, a certain angle, you can't see, <laughs> you can't see the drop. So it really feels like a roller coaster. It's really fun. And then they go over these concrete steps. So cool. There's going to be a huge line over here. Got a cool van. Utility van. 
Here's our Dodge Charger. Ooh, King Daytona, SRT. Okay, I'm into it. Has anyone seen the new Fast and Furious trailer? I haven't seen it yet, and I'm thinking about doing a trailer reaction video because I'm a fan of the Fast series. So let me know if you guys would watch that. Here's the Challenger. I'm going to get another look at the Charger in the front. Yeah, I don't know. That orange is really bright. Okay, here's the Dodge Hornet. This is a really exciting vehicle that's on display. This is a concept, the Dodge Hornet GLH concept. What do you think? Looks good, huh? Wow. I really like the racing stripes. That orange stripe looks really good on the hood. The front grille looks great. The daytime running lights look so good. Hey, John Baker would watch my uh, trailer reaction. All right, maybe I'm gonna do it. Look at that. This is really cool. It looks like a powerful little hatchback. Love it. Nice. The Stellantis brand is so big right now. Look at this. Look at this. They have all of these under the same umbrella. Ram, Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, Wagoneer, Fiat. Wow. All right. Look at that. Dodge Hornet. So cool. Did you see the little logo right here? That's awesome. Oops. <laughs> All right. Now, this is the all-electric Dodge. Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept. Now, this is really cool. I did a uh, short on this vehicle as well because it's all electric and it, they manufacture engine sounds. So you still have that rumble even though it's all electric. Okay, we've got the Fiats. I've never been a, a big Fiat fan. I think they're great vehicles. I just don't have a lot of experience with them. And Alfa Romeo is also part of that Stellantis umbrella. They always have this beautiful green color. I really like it. Really, really beautiful in person. It's really shiny, really bright. And the front grills, they just look classy. They just have a really beautiful design. I do like Alfa Romeo. It's beautiful, beautiful uh, brand. And what is this? What in the world is this? This is a Jeep Gladiator. Look at that snorkel. What in the world? This is wild. This makes me want to go to the desert or maybe a swamp. This is cool. It's got an American flag on it. What? This is so awesome. Wow. Have you guys seen this before? This is so cool. Nice tube doors. This just looks like it's totally ready for some really badass adventures. Love it. Oh my gosh. They have so many Jeeps here. These are all the ones that people are going to drive. All right. So much to see. Keep it going. There's the Renegade, the Grand Wagoneer. I really like the Grand Wagoneer. It's so expensive, but for a good reason, because it comes extremely well equipped. It's a beautiful vehicle. Let's see. Look at that. Gorgeous interior. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These run, I think over a hundred thousand dollars. Jeep Grand Cherokee. My siblings are really big fans of the Cherokee and the Grand Cherokee. So I've spent a lot of time in these vehicles and there's the Wagoneer. I think that might be the one that they unveiled here at the show. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah. The four by E. This is cool. So it's the 20th edition, a 20th anniversary edition starts at about $70,000. Wow. Wow. Oh my. 
Thank you so much for your likes and your comments. I really appreciate all of you joining me on this walk around. There's a Cherokee. And Rubicon, another four by E. Man, Jeep has brought a lot of vehicles with them. I didn't even make it all the way over there. So we're gonna just keep on going. There's the Grand Cherokee again. I like this red color. All right, I think we're gonna keep on moving. So what's next? Maybe I'll head over to Ford. What do you guys think? Let's do that. Let's go to Ford. Okay, we're gonna pass Nissan. Let me turn the camera around as I'm walking through. Hi there. Oops, there we go. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. This is so fun. I love auto shows. I love cars. I grew up in the Motor City. I grew up around the automotive industry. So I've just always been such a fan. I went to the Detroit Auto Show every year with my family. And now it's my industry. It's my job. And uh, I'm just really happy to be a part of it. Now I got to be careful. I don't run into the guys working here. <laughs> got to be really mindful because they are setting up for tonight's charity preview. So at the Chicago Auto Show and the Detroit Auto Show, they often have a charity preview before the public day start. And they have food and drinks and it's black tie and everyone gets dressed up and it is so much fun and they raise money for charity. I think in Detroit tickets range like $500 to $700 or something like that. And in Chicago, I'm not sure how much it is, but all of that money goes to deserving charities. So yeah, that's happening tonight. And oh, look, we've got a band getting set up and now we're going to walk through Ford. So these guys, that's why they moved out the truck. So at the beginning of the video, uh, you guys saw they were moving out that F-150. Well, they're putting a band there. So now it all makes sense. All right, now let's check out Ford. Here we go. F-150. That's the limited model. Now they also have a test track. Let's see. There we go. Super duty. Oh, there's the King Ranch. That one is pricey. So we're in the we're in the truck section over here. I am interested in seeing the Mustangs because I am definitely a Mustang girl. All right, where is the dark horse? It is literally right here. Oh, she is gorgeous. What a beauty, what a babe. I'm into it. Oh, somebody likes the Super Duty, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to do, do this walkthrough. I love doing this. Thank you for being a part of it and joining me. Bronco Raptor, yeah, I'll get over there. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but the iridescence, the paint color on this beautiful dark horse, oh my gosh, in person, it is so beautiful. Love that. Love the Mustang. Here is the Mach-E. I don't know about those wheels. They look kind of just like petals on a flower, but um, you know, they're okay. Yep. And here's another Maki. Oh, this one has the hood open. Yeah, it is almost purplish. I agree. And then it almost has like orangey undertones. Here is the Maki frunk. So you can see the storage that you get underneath the hood. I love that about electric vehicles. You have extra storage because there is no combustion engine. So you have more space for storage. That's a sexy looking uh, Mustang over there, but it looks kind of lonely. There's nothing around it. Uh, and you know what? I don't really prefer the black Mustang badge because you don't even see it. It just blends into the grill so well that you don't see the pony. All right, what about this one? Nice, five liter. Ooh, convertible. Nice. 
So it looks like at their ride and drive, they're going to be driving the Lightning. I don't know what else they have to test drive. Here we go. We got the Lightning over here. We've got the Expedition here. Woo! That is a big SUV. Man, that Expedition is huge. All right, here's the Lightning. Look at that. I love how it says Lightning. Hi! And let's see the trunk size of the Lightning. Wow. I mean, you could put a couple pieces of luggage in here. That's awesome. Let's keep going. Lots of yellow trucks here. Yeah, lightning trammer, that would be cool. It's so interesting. Yellow is not really a, a color that I would, <laughs> I would prefer on a truck, but that's okay. To each their own. All right, Ford's got a good selection. Nice. Got the Explorer and another Explorer. I think the white Explorer looks really good. I prefer it in white over the cranberry color. Nice. I do like their blue carpet. And then after this, I'm gonna head to Subaru before I head across the way to the other brands. All right, getting over to the Broncos. Nice. Look at that, it looks like gills on the side, like fish gills. And then we've got the front view. Those headlights are so cool. And the iconic Ford stamped into the front grill. Love that. Nice. It's too bad we can't get closer. That is a big, big Bronco. All right, yeah, I wish I could open the door. The Bronco Raptor. Wow, that looks like fun. All right, this is the Everglades edition. I did a uh, Motor City Maggie short on the Raptor and I've also done one on the Everglades. If you wanna check those out. And we got one without the doors on. This is the Wild Track. Very cool. And check this out. No roof. That is so cool. Lots of open air fun. Yes, the Corvette E-Ray is here. I have seen photos of it. I haven't seen it in person. So I'm going to see it for the first time with you guys. And I'm really, really pumped because I am such a Corvette fan. Oh God, I can't wait. And it's a hybrid and it's super powerful. So yeah, that's what we got. We've got the Outer Banks. We've got a lot of Broncos. And Ford, what I really love what they do at auto shows is they bring uh, Ford gear with them that people can buy. And this is the big bend by the way. And other automakers don't do that. So they've got like a little Ford store over there. If you can see it, you can buy hats and shirts and keychains. It's really nice. And it's just, you know, a fun way for people to buy a souvenir. Okay. So now they're setting up for the charity preview. So I'm going to try not to disturb these folks. This must be a dessert station. Check this out. They've got all these bananas. So I wonder what they're making. Maybe Bananas Foster or something. Okay. Yeah, plug-in Bronco Sport would be cool. That's a good idea. All right. Here we go. We've got another NASCAR Chicago Street Race. Ooh, it's a Cobra. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Wasn't expecting to see that. Hi. That is real, real sharp. Nice. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Oh, yeah. And BMW is over here. All right. Let's check out Subaru. The Subaru Crosstrek was just unveiled. And here's the back end look at the... Oh, they are going to have a test track for the Broncos as well. 
So that's a look at that. So anyway, yeah, the cross track. Oh my gosh, everybody. Puppies. Puppies, puppies, puppies. Right over here. I cannot believe they're still here. So Subaru always brings puppies. But I didn't think they'd still be here today. Oh, they're here tonight for the charity preview. Oh, I hope they all get adopted. So this is something that Subaru does at every auto show. They bring adoptable pets. So I actually have a colleague who was working at an auto show and she adopted a pet from the Philly auto show. Oh my gosh, is this the most precious thing you've ever seen? They're so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, somebody come to the Chicago Auto Show and adopt all of them. I'm going to take one home with me to Los Angeles. <laughs> okay. Oops, sorry about the gimbal. Oh, were those not the cutest puppies? Oh my gosh. Okay, lots of fun things to see and do here at the show. Oh, there is the uh, Subaru Solterra, their electric car, like the Toyota BZ4X. They share the same platform. They're basically the same car. That's the Subaru electric vehicle. Okay. Uh oh, what happened there? Okay, here we go. Here is the cross track and there is one on the ground too. So we'll, we can get a closer look. Subaru always does this. They have the coolest display. It's like a national park because they have a partnership with national parks and, uh, it's funny, they'll put their, their new unveiled vehicles up on a mountain. <laughs> so it looks cool, but sometimes you can't get close to them. But here's the sport. So thankfully we're gonna be able to get a closer look. I like it. It's a small, very small crossover SUV, but it's rugged, it's all wheel drive. And uh, let's see, let's see if we like the inside. There it is. Yeah, I mean, fabric seats, I'm sure there's a an upgraded seat option that we can take a look at. I like the info screen. And let's look at the cargo capacity. Pretty good. Very nice. I like it. And I also like this color. This has uh, been a common color. I've seen it in Chevy. I've seen it in uh, Toyota, and now I'm seeing it in Subaru, this kind of khaki green, kind of a flat, um, greenish khaki color. All right, we've got some more Subarus over here, another big test track that looks like a Volkswagen test drive, BMW test drive in the back there. All right, the Legacy and the... Impreza and the Outback, Forester, and the Ascent. So, there you go. That is Subaru. Long live our national parks. And they, it's really nice, they put out smells in their display to make you feel like you're actually outside and you're smelling uh, <laughs> nature. It's interesting. Okay. Oh, before we head to the other side, we're going to check out BMW briefly. BMW doesn't often come to auto shows anymore, so it's nice to see them here. Very cool. Here's a look at one of their stickers. MSRP, $113,600. This is the 760i X-Drive sedan. Very no Ooh, look at this. Look at this wraparound screen in there. Love that. And wow, this is their SUV. Oh, that is really a bulbous back end. I don't know if I like this silhouette. It's uh, sloping upwards towards the windshield. It's kind of... Um, I don't know, kind of unique. Any BMW fans out there? I love a good colored brake caliper. That has a red brake caliper, the i4. Okay. Again, this is like a khaki green color. 
It's really popular right now. This is $103,000 X7. Expensive. And then we have the X1. And they're still setting things up over here. Oh, this is going to be a ring the bell for champagne setup. Ring the bell and then they hand you champagne through the uh, wall. So that's really cute. Love it. You can hear the dog is barking. That's funny. Here's a, a this color looks just like the Alfa Romeo greens. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, you have to see the interior. This is the M8. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this. I love the quilted quilted uh, leather here. I think that this design is so pretty. It's reading kind of orange, but in person it's uh, more of like a burnt brown. And I mean, look at, look at the seatbelt design. Look at those colors. These little touches just make everything so sharp and unique. And then we've got suede on the dash, and then it looks like carbon fiber on the center console. Beautiful. Oh, and looks like we have uh, some carbon fiber in the seat as well. I don't know how comfortable that would be. I don't know, but yeah, love this. I'm getting a better view of it. Wow. Quad exhaust. Wow. Those taillights are really, really nice. Okay. Well, there we go. That is BMW. All right. Now we have a little bit of a journey and we're going to head to the other side of the show floor. So I'll switch it around. Hi, I'm still here. Oops. <laughs> here with you guys. Thanks so much again for joining me. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a nice comment. Check out my latest video on the Grand Highlander. I just released it yesterday. I'm really hoping uh, to get to 20,000 subscribers soon. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please, please do so. I would appreciate it so much. All right. Still on the journey. Now, I'll have to make sure that they... Don't give me a hard time getting through the other door. Let's see. Hi, guys. Those are some of my friends. <laughs> okay. Going through the main concourse here. There's a couple of vehicles on display in the main concourse. Looks like a few Hondas. No, I have not been on the other side of this auto show at all yet. So if I get lost, you'll know why. <laughs> so that's half of the auto show there. Then you cross the concourse. Here's the big Chicago Auto Show ball. And then we've got two Hondas there, red carpet. Now we're going to cross over and keep going and see what we can find. Okay, so I see Chevy. So that's the closest to me. So we're going to go there first. We're going to check out Chevy. We're going to see the Corvette E-Ray and see what else Chevy has to offer. And then I see Honda. Honda's also back. They were missing from auto shows for probably two years. And then we're gonna go to Lexus and Kia. But now I'm seeing some, um, some people working here. So let's make sure that they can let me in. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so first we're gonna go to Chevy and then Hyundai. And, oh good, okay, they let me in. I just kept walking and, uh, you know, act, uh, you know, acted like I own the place. Okay, all electric blazer, love it. I did a YouTube short on this, check it out. This one has red interior. Ooh, oh, that's interesting. That looks a little funny seeing the um, exposed plug there. It almost looks like the piece was broken off at first glance. Okay, wow. It's a little much to have the red interior and red exterior, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's definitely for somebody with a bold personality. <laughs> okay, the Silverado I'm a huge fan of. I did a full Motor City Maggie video on the all-electric Silverado. I've uh, really 
been into the all electric trucks lately, but also over a hundred thousand dollars for the RST model. Very expensive, but they are going to have a work truck, lower cost option. Let's see what's over here. We've got the bolts on display. And is that the Malibu hiding in the corner? I think it is. I used to have several Malibus, but they've changed the design. But yeah, it is. That's the Malibu. Hey, girl, how you doing? I used to call her the Boo. All right. And then here we go. We got the Equinox EV. So I also did a Motor City Maggie short on the Equinox EV. So check it out. So I featured three of these vehicles already. Okay, we've got a Corvette over here. Oh, look at that. I love the pass-through on the Silverado EV. That looks so awesome. And it's so versatile, you know? You can store so much in there. Here's our beautiful Corvette. Oh my gosh, look at this striking color. It's like a highlighter yellow. It is so, so bright. Oh, wow. And it's got the matching yellow seatbelts and yellow stitching absolutely gorgeous are they gonna give it oh oh my gosh a hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars a hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars that is so expensive oh my gosh i'll take two please <laughs> okay cool check it out i see the e-ray in the distance but look at this we've got a engine block this is the z06 5.5 liter v8 and they're making some announcements that are super loud so just ignore that and here is the stingray with performance exhaust engine this is a 6.2 liter v8 wow wow all right got another white corvette over there hello gorgeous and here we go here she is, the Corvette E-Ray. Wow. Again, with this color, this is such a popular color, this kind of khaki green. But you know what? This one does have some uh, metallic in it. I think it's, it's uh, reading that way. Wow, the wheels are so bare. Five-spoke wheels. Wow, they're so open. You can really see the brakes, like the whole disc brake. Wow. And then, is this the same color as the tracks? You know what? It looks like it is, but since it's such an, a different vehicle, I wonder if they're going to call it a different color. Because what, what do we call that? That was called cacti green on the tracks. So let me see if it says on the sticker the color. I'm not seeing it, but I think we should look it up. It might, might be the same. And look at that, okay, so check this out. It says E-Ray right there. We've got carbon fiber on the interior, two-seater. We've got some really nice speakers. Oh my gosh, I wish I could get inside. All new 2024 Corvette E-Ray 3LZ convertible. We don't have a price yet. 655 horsepower, zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. That's wild. I mean, that electric motor is really giving it so much extra power. So really exciting. Let's see that Stingray on the back here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Quad exhaust. Gorgeous Corvette taillights, the black badge, the black Stingray, mid-engine. Love it. Yeah, 2.5 seconds is insane. That's crazy. It's that electric motor. It gives you that instant torque, so it allows you to go so much faster right off the bat because you don't have to wait for all the pistons to start moving in the engine. You just get it going. Yeah. A security guy is giving me the eye, so I hope I hope he's not gonna kick me off. Okay, so here's the Camaro. That brings back memories <laughs> from a certain time in my life. 
We've got the Tahoe, we've got another engine, 6.2 liter V8. Traverse, I like the Traverse. I think the Tahoe is big. I mean, if you have a big family and you need that size, then absolutely go for it. But I don't know, I like the Traverse size. High Country, oh, Trail Boss, Colorado. And wow, look at these. Wow, look at those mirrors. They really come out so far. These are for, you know, big towing mirrors. Look at the uh, hitches in the front. See that? Cool. This is the 2024 Silverado 2500 HD High Country Midnight Edition. Wow, it can tow 18,700 pounds, 975 pound feet of torque. Woo, that's crazy. Let's see if I can get a wide view of that so you can see how big it is. Nice. Great. More to see. Here is a Chevy work truck, Silverado work truck. Oh, we, uh, since I'm over here, Let's take a view of these Rolls Royces. This was a surprise. I didn't expect to see these. So this is part of a supercar gallery. Oh, so fun. Rolls Royce Black Badge Wraith. I have um, driven inside of a Wraith before and it was one of the coolest experiences ever. This is the Ghost. This is the Phantom Extended. What? Oh my gosh, you will not believe this MSRP. Look at this, almost $700,000. $700,000 for this Phantom Extended. That's probably the most expensive vehicle at the auto show. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's the Urus Lamborghini. 270000 Oh my God, look at this one. Oh, so sexy. Lamborghini. This one is 605000 Look at this one. Okay. I found the most expensive vehicle at the auto show. Lamborghini, $2.8 million. Sorry about the announcements, everybody. I know it's frustrating. Hopefully this guy will be done soon. Look at this. This Lamborghini is $2.8 million. I can't believe it's here. It is a 6.5 liter V12 engine, zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. That means that the Corvette E-Rate is actually faster than this $2.8 million vehicle. So that's interesting to think about. Okay, back to Chevy really quick. We have a lot to see. Hi there from New Orleans. Yeah, you guys are quiet in the comments. Make sure you say hello. I'm so glad you're with me. I love doing this. I've done a live stream of the New York Auto Show and I did the Detroit show and I did just a live stream of the Toyota display at the LA auto show because I was um, short on time that day. This is a really cool display. I really like the Chevy display. I like how they showcase their engines. You know, most of the time you actually don't get to see them outside of the vehicles. So I think that's a really, really cool thing that they do here. Okay, yes. And here is the 2024 Chevy Trax. I did do a Motor City Maggie walk around on this vehicle. I really liked it. This is the active model. This is the cacti color. And it does, it does look like the E-Ray color. So you can see the E-Ray is right there. And here's the tracks. They look like the same color. So there we go. Pretty cool. This is a really, really great entry level small SUV. I was really impressed with the 
starting price, the top of the line price, the features. Hi from Brazil. Well, wow. hello from Chicago in the United States. The blazer. I really like the blazer styling. I think they did a great job when they remodeled this. I really like the headlights. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the blazer. All right, I'm going to keep it moving because we've already been doing this for almost an hour and we have so much to see. All right. Okay. Now we're going to move on to Hyundai. Hyundai has a big footprint. Let's see if you can get all the way back there. Okay. So we're going to just walk through quickly because we have a lot to show. Ionic 6. I mean, the Ionic 6 has a pretty, pretty cool styling. I like that. I like the slope of the back. I like that. The wheels, I don't know about the wheels. Do you guys like the wheels? You know, I appreciate kind of a futuristic wheel design, but it's not, not my favorite. I don't love the taillights. I'll say that. I don't, I don't know about these little cubes. This is a pre-production model of the Hyundai Ionic 6. Nice. I love that. I love the screens. Looks really good. All right. And I'm going to pop around because they have a lot of vehicles here. We're going to try and get through quickly. There's the Elantra Hybrid. And Hyundai actually has a test track, which is really surprising because, uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen Hyundai test tracks very often. Uh-oh, they're starting to play the music for the charity preview. There's the Sonata. I hope you guys can still hear me. Ionic 5. Now, the Ionic 5, I, I kind of run into the same predicament. I, I don't really love these cubes. It's not my favorite style choice, but I'm sure many people do like them. And again, with the wheels, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about these. I don't know. Oh, this is a gorgeous paint color. Look at this iridescence. Look at that. It goes from green to purple. That is beautiful. Paint colors like this are really expensive and hard to make. So that's really cool that you can actually purchase that. Here's the Tucson, Tucson plug-in. <laughs> I like that 38 mil is like, I don't know about those wheels either. I don't know. So the jury's out on the wheels or we're just being nice and we, we don't want to, we don't want to say anything negative. And here's the Kona. Oh, the Kona electric. Ah, oh, very nice. Starts at $44,000. And... They have a lot of space here. So it's nice if uh, you stop by the auto show, you'll have a lot of space to kind of spread out and run around with your family so you're bumping into people. This is the Tucson hybrid. Also a little fun fact about the Chicago auto show, it's actually the most well attended auto show in the United States. Over a million people come to the Chicago auto show every year. It is extremely popular. Here's the Santa, Santa Fe, Santa Fe. I'll get closer to those in a second. I want to see the Palisade. The Palisade is a really popular family car. This one is $53,000, starting price at about $35,000, fully loaded fifty. dollars So actually, those are really decent prices. That looks so nice. Yeah, I like the Palisade. It's um really family-friendly. Lots of space inside of this vehicle. And I've heard that owners are happy with it. All right. Look at that. Okay, I love the blue and the red brake calipers and the red body kit. That's cool. Elantra. Or the Elantra N. That's it, sorry. Elantra N, $35,000. And it has a really nice spoiler. Love it. 
I have to tell all of you that it is extremely rare to be the only person at the auto show. Look at this. There's no one around. This is so crazy. This is very rare. So I'm really happy that I'm able to do this while there's nobody around. Santa Cruz. I like the Santa Cruz. I think it's a, a cool, compact truck. I prefer the Toyota Tacoma, but this is, you know, even smaller than that. It's more like a car with a little bit of a bed. I still can't get over this Lamborghini. $2.8 million. Just wild. Okay, we're going to the Volkswagen display. I want to see the Atlas. So the Atlas and the Atlas Cross Sport were unveiled here at the Chicago Auto Show. So we're going to just pop over real quick. And here's the ID4. See, they're, um, they're busy setting things up, so I'm not going to bother them over there. But I like the ID4. And I have a friend who has an ID4, and he's really happy with it. And I think it has a over 300 mile driving range. Here's the Golf. Starts at forty five thousand seven hundred dollars. And the ID four right there in red. And they've got their nice tables and flowers set up for the charity preview. Okay, here it is. This is what I was excited to see: the all new twenty twenty four Atlas Cross Sport and 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. These look nice. Okay, let's look at the cross sport. Starts at $34,460. I like it. Is it open? Oh, it's locked, darn. Looks nice, but the size is good. Here's the Atlas. You're all so quiet in the comments. What do you think? I love the Volkswagen badge lighting up in the front. That looks so cool. I love a lit logo. It's lit. <laughs> wow. They look great. All right. Way to go, Volkswagen. All right. I got to get out of here. I'm getting some looks from fake exhaust ports. Yeah, that's right. It's a style choice, you know, on the electric cars. Sometimes they do that. Oh, the Volkswagen symbol in the back is red. It's lit up. Part of the LED light bar. Oh, that looks so good. Wow, four motion. That's their, that must be their four wheel drive system. All right, I gotta get out of Volkswagen, everybody. They're giving me dirty looks. Like, why are you here? <laughs> so I'm gone, I promise, guys. Okay, here we go. So now we're gonna go to Buick. Now Buick, I'm a fan of. I think that their vehicles, I mean, they really pack a punch. They have so many luxury features that are so nice for a great price. And before we do that, let's just see what else we can see for the luxury vehicles because they're right here. Okay, we've got a McLaren. I want to see how much it is. That is beautiful. 279000 nice but you know not worth as much as the uh rolls royce and the lamborghini we saw aston martin oh god aston martins are gorgeous i don't know if the buick wildcat is here we're gonna go find out but i did see it at the detroit auto show and i did put it on my live stream i really liked it maserati oh that color is bright and we've got a Bentley and Rolls Royce. Okay. Let's go check out Buick. Enclave. Oops. Here we go. If you're watching, make sure you hit that like button. Yes, we've got the EV concept. Hi, 
Hi, Toyota Jeff. Oh my gosh. Everyone should follow Toyota Jeff. He is an amazing person with a heart of gold and he has such great car reviews. So make sure you follow my friend Toyota Jeff. And we have a collaboration coming soon, collaboration video on the Grand Highlander. So check out this beautiful Buick concept. Buick is going to go all electric soon. And this is their new badge that they're bringing to the lineup. And this is the beautiful Wildcat. And you can kind of see, let's see if we can show you what's inside. Yeah, it's gorgeous kind of like a crystal head rest design and a really beautiful flow uh, down the center of the vehicle with that center console and armrest and the whole front end is digital. It's all a really nice one, one uh, piece screen. I don't know about these side mirrors though. <laughs> I mean, it is a concept. They're not actually going to manufacture it exactly like this, but the side mirrors are teeny tiny. But actually they're cameras, that's why they're so small. So then they would show you your image of what's in your side mirror in your screen, in your head unit. So that makes sense. Okay. Enclave, oops, let's go see the Envision. I like the Envision. Oh, that is the Encore GX. I actually have a Motor City Maggie walk around on the Encore GX. It's a really nice entry level Buick. And the Denali. How do we end up in GMC? Oh, well, that's all we have to see from Buick. They only have one, two, three, four, five vehicles. Okay, well, Buick is a, a smaller display here, but that's okay. Now we're in GMC. Okay, hello, Denali HD. Wow, look at that grill. Wow, that looks so good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I don't think uh, this would work out for me in Los Angeles, but if I uh, am in the Motor City and it's snowing, sign me up. So this is, hi. <laughs> so this paint color is interesting because it's a black, but under these lights, it almost looks like a super, super dark purple. And I like it. All right. They're setting something up over here, so I'm not going to disturb them. Ah, uh, yes, here's our all-electric Hummer. Hello. This is a big boy over here. Yes, Hummer EV. This is the truck model with the, with the bed in the back, powered by Ultium. GMC's battery pack. Looks good. I would love to drive one of those. All right, okay, and check this out. This is a really cool thing to see at the auto show. We've got the Sierra, GMC Sierra, towing this giant boat. <laughs> That's so cool. So I can show you how much it can tell, which is quite a lot. Very powerful. Acadia is here. The whole Denali family is here. Okay, we are moving right along. Here's the back end of Volkswagen, so you know where we are for perspective. Oh, this is nice. We have some classic cars in the back. Do you like this? These are fun to see. Look at how adorable this tiny one is. Oh my gosh, here's a 1970 Dodge Super B. What? That's crazy. Frank Skr. Oops, there we go. Look at that, how cute. 1939 Phantom Roadster. This is really awesome. Really cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, that would be so fun to drive in. All right, next we're gonna go to Kia. Kia. I did a partnership with Kia Canada, which was really cool. I was so happy to have the chance to work with them. 
and get to work with some really great vehicles. All right, so they're featuring over here. We've got this intense, wow, look at the floor. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> good, 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 Kia. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. This is the Telluride SX Prestige X Line V6 all wheel drive. And this is about $55,000. Ooh, baby. I like the Telluride. I think it's a, a great vehicle. Nice family car. We've got the Forte. Is that the Stinger over here? Yeah, this is the Stinger. I like the Stinger. Powerful little sedan, you know. Red seatbelts. I'm into it. Red brake calipers. Stinger GT2 all-wheel drive V6. This one is just about $57,000. All right, folks, we're nearing the end, nearing the end, because I've been going on already for about 66 minutes. It's wild. There's so much to see. It's such a big show. Kia Nero. And we've got the Kia Soul. Yeah, I really like the Kia Stinger. So fast and powerful and Sorento, that's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. That looks really good. They have, Kia has a really, a really good selection of SUVs. Here's the Telluride, really nice family vehicle. Another one of those kind of khaki, <laughs> khaki green colors, cactus colors. And here's the Carnival or Carnival. And uh, I did a Motor City Maggie short on the carnival. And where's the Sportage? It's funny because in Canada, they say they call it the Sportage. But here in the U.S., we say Sportage. Here's the Sportage X-Pro Prestige all-wheel drive. It's a good vehicle. And we've got the Nero EV. And then the EV6, I also did a Motor City Maggie video on. And here's the Saltos. And it is refreshed. So it looks like it's got a bit of an upgrade, a bit of an update for the 2024 model year. Looks nice. Wow. It's cool how the light bar goes all the way across like that. We don't often see that type of uh, daytime running light that goes all the way across almost to the center of the vehicle. That's cool. And I don't see the EV6. They must have brought it. I must have missed it somehow. But yeah, I've, oh, it's over there. Right there, that's the EV6. I've also done a walk around on the EV6 on my channel. Here's, oh, the Sportage, it says it's an ATV hybrid electric vehicle or Sportage, depending on where you live. And Lexus, I'm excited to be over here. So the big news for Lexus, just I think last night, they announced uh, that they are again, number one, on J.D. Power's dependability study. So congratulations, Lexus. I think number two is Genesis. But yeah, number one, Lexus. Let's see, LS500, looking good. I think my gimbal is starting to die. So <laughs> it's uh, less responsive, but we're coming down to the end of it. I think this is the LX600. It is. Here's the Lexus LX600 F Sport. Wow. It's like all grill. The front end is all grill on that one. And another LX, which shares the same platform. Oh, this is the GX, excuse me. So we've got the LX in white and the GX in this greenish color. 
and here's the RX. Let's get a better look at it. Nice. Yeah, you know, it reminds me of the Nissan Aria um, rose gold color. It's, yeah, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I feel like I would prefer the RX in white. I do love the slick, sharp eyeliner, daytime running lights. Oh, those look so good. Lexus always has a great crisp eyeliner, LED daytime running light design on all their vehicles. I just love that. This is the NX 350 all wheel drive. In the back there, they have a color chart. I do also appreciate when auto show displays have their colors on display. Since I've been talking about colors a lot, I really, <laughs> colors are important to me. Here's the UX, a really you know compact crossover. NX. I do love Lexus. They're really beautiful cars. Yes, the interior on the RX, it really, really looks good. Maybe I can run over there and open up the door real quick. Oh, and then here is their first electric vehicle. So this is the RZ450E. I've also done a Motor City Maggie video on this vehicle from the Detroit Auto Show. Yeah, the first ever Lexus all electric vehicle. So let me just pop open the door of the RX and then I'll get to the NX. Looks good, huh? Okay. And yeah. Uh oh. This gimbal is starting to go, everybody. <laughs> Come on, just make it a little longer because I've just got one more display to get to. Okay, let's see the interior of the NX. Looks good, but I think uh, I think I prefer the RX interior. It just feels a little fancier, but this is beautiful as well. Oh, this has the new car smell. Wow, that smells like it just came out of the factory. Whew. All right, let's quickly get through the rest of Lexus. Beautiful. Okay, this cherry red color is giving. Yes. IS500. We've got another, the IS350 over there. And the LC. LC500. RCF. Oh my gosh, this red color. Just gorgeous. And it's really fun to see colors at Lexus because I remember the day when Lexus displays only had, I think, white. Every single auto show, all their vehicles were white. So it's nice to see this. Look at that grill. That is gorgeous. I had a friend who had a three-year lease on an LC500, and she had it in this red color. And when I tell you she and I had a good time in that car, ooh, <laughs> we were living life. That was fun. Okay, this interior, absolutely gorgeous. It's like a buttery, peanut buttery, caramel, warm, gooey, delicious interior. Wow. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful. I love the handles because you know you're going to go fast in this baby. Love it. Okay. We are at Honda and then we are done. Oh, we've got some Acura vehicles here, actually. I was uh, not expecting that and I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to see it, Acura. All right. So here we've got the RDX SH all wheel drive. This is $55,000. Shiny, shiny black paint. Here's the MDX. Oh, wow. I remember uh, during the pandemic when they announced the MDX remodel, 
I did a Motor City Maggie video on the MDX from home. So you can check that out on my channel. And here is the Intra. Oh, I don't, I'm not familiar with this vehicle, Intra. <laughs> probably not saying it correctly. Here we go. Integra. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that, folks. I have been talking. I've been awake since 5 a.m. So looks like I need to uh, get my hands on one of these so I can learn more about it. NSX. Hello. You look good. I feel like I would like to see a little more pizzazz in the Acura section. This just feels bland, especially for such a beautiful vehicle. I want to see a platform for this. I want to see it, you know, have some better signage, but that's okay. Maybe next year. I'm just glad they're here so people can actually check out their vehicles. We have the HRV and the Odyssey. What are these? What are these? What? I didn't know Honda sold these. These are really cool. Kind of like four-wheeler off-road toys. Honda Pioneer 700 Quick Flip. Cute. Cute and fun. Okay, here's the Pilot. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Hold your horses. There is a private jet without wings in the middle of the Honda display. Why? <laughs> Why is that there? Maybe it's just for this evening's charity preview. I don't know, but it's uh, something uh, that definitely caught my eye. All right. So this is the pilot and I have had a few requests to do a full walk around on the new pilot. I haven't seen it yet. I don't think this is the new pilot. I think this is the, oh, this is the 23 pilot. 23 pilot all wheel drive elite. All right. That's the trail sport pilot. Here's the passport. I'm so excited that so many of you have been on this journey with me. Thank you so much. Honda makes private jets. What? Oh my gosh. Thank you for telling me. I had no idea. That is so cool. Here's the cord. I like the cord. You know, it's like a Camry Malibu competitor. It looks good. It looks nice in there. Whoops, oops, oops. There it is. That looks great. Got two really nice screens. This is the $40,000 model, the Accord Hybrid TRG. Okay, let's get back to this jet because I'm just flabbergasted. But where are the wings? <laughs> Why aren't there any wings on this jet? It looks like it's, it's going to stay here. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, Honda Jet Elite 2. Yeah, this looks like a permanent fixture. I don't think it's just here for the charity night. I mean, here are some stairs. Am I allowed to go up there? I mean, nobody's stopping me. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I get to go this close to it. Look at this, everybody. This is so cool. I cannot believe that. I just got to get that close to it. Wow. That was so cool. Oh, you learn something new every day, huh? Wow. One more look at that. Honda Elite 2 private jet. Very cool. Has quite the nose on it. All right. Still uh, tooling around over here. We've got the Ridgeline over there. And we've got very cool Honda Racing Ridgeline. Another Honda buggy. And here's the Civic. The Civic is the 1.5 liter hatch and it's about $32,000. Okay. And the Civic Type R. 
Oh, I'd like to see a Civic Hybrid. That would be great. Look at this wing. Look at that wing. That is so cool. Triple exhaust. Yeah, that looks like a fun, fun car. And we're going to head over here. You've got the Passport and the CRV, like on the other side of the display. I feel like they should have put the Passports and the CRVs together instead of separating them, but oh well. And here is the Prologue. Ooh, introducing the Honda Prologue. It's their electrified SUV coming in 2024. Nice. Nice. I like the wheels. So this is an electric SUV. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the CRV. So their, uh, unfortunately, their signage doesn't match the vehicle. See what I'm saying? So this is, it says Prologue, and then it actually has the CRV right here next to the sign. So I don't know why they do that. But anyway, CRV hybrid, all wheel drive. And this is about $40,000. Okay. Well, there you go. I think we are coming to the end. All right. That's it. That is the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. I showed you as much as I possibly could in 81 minutes. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for being with me if you've been with me live. And thank you for watching the replay. And again, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Please tell your friends. I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. It would honestly make me so happy. And I just really appreciate your support. I um, do all of this on my own. I am you know, find the vehicles. I figure out what I'm going to say. I study them. I borrow a friend to film the video for me or I film it myself and then I edit it and post it. So I just really appreciate um, your support because this is really a, a passion project of mine. I think it's important for more women and more female voices to be in the automotive industry. So I just really appreciate all of you taking the time to watch this video. So please give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And also you can check out my other content on my Motor City Maggie uh, TikTok and on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm at Maggie Clark on camera. On Twitter, I'm Maggie on camera. And on TikTok, I am Maggie Clark on camera. So thanks so much again for being a part of this. Here is the Chicago Auto Show. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Be well and motor on. See you next time. Bye.